Hello everyone, this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of Chromebook Tips and Tricks video and I'll talk about how to use a Microsoft Word on a Chromebook. So this is a very uh, popular uh, topic uh, because a uh, lot of you uh, are looking to edit Microsoft Word or as a matter of fact any Microsoft Office uh, you know applications for example Excel, PowerPoint or Word uh, or anything and uh, you may think that you know you cannot uh, use Chromebook for Microsoft Word uh, to edit or write anything but uh, that's not the case and today I'm going to show you four different ways uh, you can you know use Microsoft Word on your Chromebook without paying anything and if you watch at the end of the video then I'll uh, tell you the best option or the best way you can uh, do anything with a Microsoft Word document uh, uh, and I'll show you how to do it so I have uh, these four uh, index cards and I'm going to show you one by one how you can edit and open Microsoft Word document on your Chromebook. The first method I'm going to show you uh, how to use the Microsoft Word on Chromebook is going to be uh, using uh, Google Play to install a Microsoft uh, app. So basically the, stops, uh, the steps are going to be uh, right here. So you go to Google Play and then search for word and then install and then log in uh, this problem uh, this process works but uh, the problem with this is that you need Microsoft 365 subscription plan which is I believe uh, seven dollars per month so this is not free uh, and uh, I'm going to show you right now that you know what happens if you just install and try to use it so when you go to Google Play then you're going to search here for Microsoft Word and here uh, tells you to open it because I already installed it before but if you didn't install for uh, you know yet then you're going to see the search results here and then once you open it then you can see that you know it's taking you to the Microsoft Word uh, page and then uh, here I'm going to try to open a document okay so I'm trying to open a drop document and then it's giving me the message that right here to edit and save a Microsoft 365 subscription is required so you can see that my doc is uh, right here but it's not letting me do anything uh, just like you know uh, letting me to view the document but it's telling me to pay uh, for Microsoft 365 subscription which is right here so this method is only works if you are willing to pay so we're going to close this one and then let's move on to our second step which is going to be right here so here you're going to uh, use uh, Microsoft Word online and then you have to just like you know uh, you, you don't have to install anything for this method and you can well use it for free but with limited features or functionality so let's uh, try to use this and see what happens so I'm going to open a browser and once you search for Microsoft Word online which is right here then it's going to be your first couple of uh, two or three matches so if you just you know go to the page uh, after searching Microsoft Word online then you'll see that you know it's taking to a page where you are going to see all your documents uh, the reason I didn't have to enter login ID and password because I already did that before but if you are new or if you're doing it for the first time online then it's going to ask you to enter your uh, email address and login ID uh, which is going to be your Microsoft Outlook email address uh, and login ID uh, then once you do that then it's going to take you show you all the docs or it's going to even give you the option to start with the blank document which is right here so now I already have the same document here and let's open it up and then you can see that uh, it's opening the document it just takes a few seconds and that you have your document right here and you can see that you know it's giving you some basic features so you can uh, write edit uh, with limited functionality so this method works but it's not like you know uh, it's not giving the access to 100% word but it's good enough for most of like you know uh, everyday work 
and this is the second method and again in order to do that you have to go to online uh, you have to open a browser and then search uh, Microsoft Word online another way to use Microsoft Word on Chromebook is going to be install alternate apps which can open and edit Microsoft Word document including uh, Google Docs which is right here so in order to do that let's close this and when you go to Google Play and then search for Word or you can even search for Microsoft Word and then you see that you know there's some matches here for example if you just uh, scroll down the list of the results then you will see that you know there are lots of applications which you can use for example WPS Office which has actually 100 million plus in downloads or installs and then here you have another office document word office and office suite then there's another one is right here so there are lots of uh, these apps including google doc uh, which you can install and you can just you know edit uh, open save any word document as a word document uh, so you can use one of these as well so that's uh, number three method uh, and then the best method i'm going to have to say is number four which is uh, edit word directly you don't need to install anything you don't need to do anything else so in order to use this method you have to just use uh, or email yourself a document microsoft word document to yourself and then you just open it on your google chrome and google chrome has a functionality or the features to use that or edit that word document directly so i'm going to show you how it works so for example this is my email and I have a Microsoft Word document so if I just you know install this then here you see the message that download complete so I'm going to just you know open the folder and here you can see that it's saved in my Chromebook as a Word document and it's in the downloads folder and I'm going to just open this okay now you can see that the document is opened uh, and this is as a word document w right here and you can basically you know edit write or anything on here and you can even save it so this is the best way in my opinion because you don't need to install anything you don't need to go online so if you try to edit it then you're going to get this message that edits will not be sorry if you try to edit this you're going to get this message edits will not be automatically saved save now so if you save now then here you're going to see this message that this file is a format that is unsupported in order to save it we need your permission to convert it to a more recent file format and your original file will not be affected it basically just telling that you know the word document I saved or I sent uh, uh, in my email is kind of old word version so it's just going to you know save it as a updated word version uh, which is right here uh, you can see that it's going to save doc X which is the latest version so once you save it now you will see that file saved all edits will be saved automatically so now if you just like you know write anything or let's say edit anything if you write anything and edit anything then it's going to be saved automatically and you're working actually on a word document not on any like you know other uh, document or other app or anything this is a real word version or this is a real word document you're working on and this is going to be saved as a word document too so if I go to the download folder then you can see that this one is being saved right here as a docx format and then once you're done working on this one you can just email yourself back and then you can open it with Windows computer or any other computer which has Microsoft Word installed then you're going to have full access or full Word document which you worked on and saved on Chromebook so I like this feature 
and the only problem with this is that you have to email yourself a document first and then you can you know start working on this one so it, it's called office compatibility mode and this is the best way to use Microsoft Word document on your Chromebook so to wrap up everything basically there are four ways you can use Microsoft uh, Word on a Chromebook the first way is that you have to install uh, Microsoft Word by going to Google Play but this is not free uh, you have to have subscription and then this is going to work as a full version of Word and then the second version or the second method is going to be using uh, Microsoft Word online and this way you can have some features uh, uh, of Word with limited you know functionality but it still is going to work and this is good enough for most of us and the third way is going to be you can install Google Docs or some work alternate apps which you can use which can open any Google Doc or save uh, any application or save a document as a Google Doc but it's not going to exactly look like uh, Microsoft Word but it kind of look will look like Microsoft Word because some of these programs or apps they kind of copied Microsoft Word to look and feel that way and the last and in my opinion the best method is going to be just email yourself a real Microsoft uh, Word document and then once you open it on Chromebook it gives you the options to you know save edit and work on the document as a Word document and the save is going to be done as a Word document as well so these are the ways you can uh, use Microsoft uh, Word on your Chromebook forget about subscribing this channel forget about liking this video there will be more videos coming up so i'll see you shortly thank you